Our final segment is designed to give you some tips to help you respond to a variety of other situations you may encounter during the normal operation of your new or rebuilt engine. John Hazlett is here to review some of these situations. Situations like leaning, which done properly is beneficial for all engines and helps ensure that the oil gets up to the proper temperature. On the other hand, aggressive leaning, especially in turbocharged engines, can cause excessive temperatures and shorten the life of your engine. A word about temperature management. Common sense tells us to bring the engine up to the proper temperature before takeoff and after landing, allow it to cool prior to shutdown. Your engine components are metallic, mainly aluminum and steel, and these metals expand and contract at different rates. Aluminum crankcases and pistons have a higher coefficient of thermal expansion than steel cylinders and crankshafts. Consequently, events like shock cooling your engine during a rapid descent can dramatically shorten the life of your engine parts. A word about inspections. Perform your 100-hour and annual inspections on time. Check that the seals and baffles are properly maintained. A word about trend monitoring. Some record keeping is mandated by law. As an aircraft owner or operator, some additional records will allow you to make important comparisons between flights. And these comparisons yield valuable information about changes in engine performance. So monitor the gauges after they're stabilized and record the readings. Compare those entries from flight to flight. Significant changes in these instrument readings are clues that engine problems may be developing. And a final word about oil. Change your oil on a regular basis. Remember that the less you fly, the more critical oil changes become. Check oil filters and screens for evidence of metal or other contamination, and don't rely on the oil's color to let you know when your oil is due for a change. Use winterization kits to prevent congealing in the oil cooler and to get the oil up to the proper temperature in cold weather. If you use an air oil separator, an acrobatic inverted system, or any additional external oil lines and plumbing, make sure the system is properly installed and does not act like a condensation unit that will return moisture to the crankcase. Remember, if you take good care of your engine, it will take good care of you. All of us at Ameriflight, Textron like homing, and Shell Oil are proud of our contributions to the safety and enjoyment of general aviation. If you'd like more information about our products and their use in your aircraft, Call the Shell Product Information Center or your Textron Lycoming representative. And thank you for watching.